Warning. Astronomical spoilers ahead. In Netflix's They Clone Tyrone, Jamie Foxx's character undergoes cloning in an underground lab run by an elite organization. Strangely, around the film's release, Fox's unexplained hospitalization sparked rumors of his own cloning. The movie, blending adaptation with comedy, horror, and sci-fi, was acclaimed for its ending style and performances by John Boyega, Teyana Paris, and Fox. It starts as a typical gangster flick, but turns conspiratorial as the protagonists uncover a mind-control plot involving drugs in everyday products. Oddly, Fox's hospitalization before the film's release remains shrouded in mystery, adding an eerie layer to the story. After a prolonged hospitalization that fueled widespread speculation, Jamie Foxx entered rehab. Upon his return to social media, rumors of Fox being cloned circulated due to perceived changes in his appearance and demeanor. Some celebrities openly confronted these rumors. Fox, in response, explained his absence, expressing reluctance to be seen in a vulnerable state during his health struggles. The intensity of Ice-T's reaction to clone rumors raised eyebrows, leading some to question why he cared so much. Fox himself addressed the rumors on Twitter, with conspiracy theorists noting a subtle one-eye sign in his profile picture. These clone rumors tend to be prevalent within the hip-hop community, often emerging when celebrities undergo transformations after incarceration or health-related experiences. For instance, Gucci Mane's removal of a face tattoo upon his release led to clone speculation. While these clone theories are difficult to substantiate, there are instances of influential individuals undergoing profound changes post-institutionalization, raising questions about the cause, cloning, mind control, or something else entirely. These rumors and conspiracy theories are directly addressed in They Clone Tyrone, prompting exploration of the film's underlying message. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end, to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. This snapshot features the movie's three main characters. Yo-Yo, Slick Charles, a pimp, and Fontaine, dealer. They Clone Tyrone is set in a fictional time and place, blending 1970s technology with futuristic underground laboratories in a neighborhood called the Glen. The peculiar license plates on cars emphasize the film's dissociative setting, leaving viewers questioning when and where it takes place, evoking the feeling of being newly released clones. The opening scene introduces a conspiratorial atmosphere as a man discusses seeing Michael Jackson and Tupac Shakur tapping into persistent conspiracy theories surrounding their deaths. Fountaine regularly shares beer with a cryptic old man, unaware of the man's knowledge. The old man cryptically mentions, it's in the water, revealing that the water supply contains mind-altering chemicals. Later, Fountaine appears zombie-like and is abducted by a black truck. The old man comments, off to see the wizard again, hinting that Fountaine is a clone, sent for reprogramming, referencing the MK Ultra program. The old man also mentions, in the land of the blind, alluding to the proverb, the one-eyed man is king. This saying sums up the movie, symbolizing how the occult elite control the blinded masses. Appropriately enough, the logo of the mind-controlling organization is a stylized eye. After being forewarned by the old man, the movie's protagonists discover how deep the conspiracy goes. Fountaine stumbles upon his own lifeless body in an underground lab, prompting suspicions of his own cloning. With his two friends, he investigates further, uncovering strategically placed elevators in the neighborhood, leading to underground facilities where mind-altering drugs are manufactured. In one lab, they find white individuals with afros, manufacturing a potent drug that induces docility and ignorance. 
This drug is discreetly added to stereotypical products in black communities, like fried chicken, perm cream, and grape drinks, promoted through TV ads and billboards. While consuming fried chicken, they uncontrollably laugh instead of addressing pressing issues. The organization also subjects unwitting individuals to mind control experiments, reminiscent of a clockwork orange. Before release, clones are briefed on their past lives, and the organization infiltrates critical community locations, like the local church. The local church, symbolically named after Zion, has been repurposed as a mind control center for the organization. During the sermon, the pastor's impassioned words have a hidden meaning, equating God with a world-controlling elite, emphasizing the importance of obedience. His eyes are everywhere. Keeping watch over the wicked and the good, but also the wicked. And do you know what he wants the most out of each and every one one of you? Obedience. To the tune of juveniles back that as up, the organist incites moral corruption in the congregation, all under the influence of drug-laced grape drinks. It's later revealed that the preacher is a programmed clone. The organization also utilizes another strategic location for mind control. The all-important club. Operating under the ruckus music label, the organization crafts music to manipulate emotions. The protagonists uncover that the local club serves as a distribution center for this mind-altering music. The DJ's words hold a hidden meaning as he promotes the music, referring to the lab as an actual laboratory, not just a recording studio. The music eventually enslaves minds, turning people against the protagonists, showcasing how pop music can be a tool for manipulation. This is just the beginning of a deeply unsettling conspiracy. A propaganda billboard in the underground facility promotes unity through science and DNA technology. People in the neighborhood, after uncovering strange occurrences, express suspicions of experiments conducted by scientists resembling Bill Nye, aimed at controlling the minds of black individuals through cloning. The organization's ultimate goal is to unite the divided United States, seeing it as an experiment left unfinished by its founders. However, at the movie's conclusion, they reveal grander plans. Creating a single human race through blending all races, a multi-generational endeavor. The organization's leader states that the powers above him were dissatisfied with past experiments and emphasized that true unity requires more than shared thoughts, it demands sameness. These elite plans are hidden in plain sight, portrayed as science fiction. At first glance, they clone Tyrone appears to be revealing many of the shady things that have been discussed on this channel and others for years. The movie blatantly depicts mind control experiments, chemicals laced in consumer products, compromised community leaders, and, of course, music with nefarious intents. Furthermore, the movie's conclusion addresses one of the elite's main goals. The creation of a single, homogenized race to facilitate the coming of a new while the DNA cloning aspect of the plot is up for debate, a similar agenda is being carried out right now. Movements of mass migration are purposely taking place across the world, which, in time, will blur races and nationalities. With that being said, They Clone Tyrone is a Netflix movie, a platform known for propaganda and definitely not truth-telling. While the movie appears to be aware, it ultimately accomplishes the exact opposite. It fictionalizes elements of truth in a sea of fiction. It is part of the elite's agenda called Revelation of the Method, where its plans are revealed to the public and passively accepted. It also causes people to associate these nuggets of truth with science fiction rather than real life. The movie also deforms reality by framing the conspiracy as a black versus white thing instead of elite versus the masses, which contributes to one of the elite's favorite agendas racial division. In short, they clone Tyrone, presents a strange off-kilter version of reality. Kind of like this new clone version of Jamie Foxx. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. 
What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.